What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you with another video. You already know what we came here to do today. We have a powerful message for us to discuss, and this is what it is. So let's talk about it. Don't waste your real on fake people who don't acknowledge that they're fake or they won't acknowledge your authenticity, okay? These are people who are beside themselves. These are people who can't come to terms with life or how they feel about life, what they're going through themselves, their own situation, their life, period. They can't come to terms with it. These are people who will have something that's wrong with them, right? But instead of fix it, instead of take care of it, instead of make it better, instead of learn how to improve it, what they'll try to do is they'll want to take it out on you, all right? They'll want to project it on to you because they're fake and when you come around them as a real person you are disturbing them you're disturbing the demons in them their fakeness is rising to the surface all those things that they try to hide all those things they try to sweep underneath the rug all the things that they pretend not to see about themselves that they wish they could fix and i understand when there are things that people can't fix about themselves it's frustrating to want to have something about yourself that you've been trying to fix, that you've been that you've been wanting to improve on. Maybe you can't find answers. Maybe you don't think there's any answers. But I'm here to tell you today, don't be frustrated. There's always answers. God in you is the answer. If you relax, if you try, if you don't um, force it, if if you don't try to force it, if you relax, the answer will come to you, and you'll be able to have your prayer answered. But back to what we're talking about is that. People will, when their uh, insecurities rise to the surface and they haven't dealt with it, instead of internalizing it and taking care of it and improving themselves, what they'll do is they will attack you because they see you working on yourself, number one. And number two, you may be the closest thing to them that they could uh, out, use for an outlet on how they feel because of whatever they're dealing with. All right. They may be dealing with something that's bothering them. And you may have something that they wish they could have. And then when you come around them, now they're acting towards you in uh, in a non good way. They're acting towards you in a bad way because they wish they had what you had, but they have what they have. And instead of working on it and improving it, what they'll do is they'll take that out on you because their insecurities are rising to the surface. But here's the thing. You what you need to do is this. Don't waste your real on that person. When those people come around and they can't be real with you, you take your real and you go where your real is accepted. You take your real and you go where people aren't going to be fake to you. Because after a while, what that fakeness is going to do, it could potentially rub off on you. And what that fakeness could do is it could lead you in the wrong direction. You, It could change your perception. You could think that that's just how people are. You could think just that's just how life is. And there are a lot of people who fall into the trap of becoming fake themselves because they know that's all they know. They don't know that the people are being fake to them. They don't know anything other than that. They never experienced real. So another thing, too, when you come around people and you're real, they'll just be like, what? Like they won't understand it because what they see to be normal is real. People acting fake, people putting on it, people, oh, this is what I am, so I have to act like this. When you're not in that program, when you're not in the program of of labels and and acting a certain way because that's how everybody else acts. When, when you're out of the matrix and you get around people, when you're that real, they're going to glitch. They're going to have issues with you because you're not following the program. And when you don't follow the program, people are going to be looking at you as like you're crazy. They're going to be looking at you as a threat. They're going to be looking at you as a problem because you aren't following the program. You aren't going along with the get the get along. You aren't doing what everyone else is doing. So by default, you're going to stick out. By default, you're going to um, you're going to be trying to stay low key, and people are going to be noticing you. And paying more attention to you than the average person because you're not going along with the storybook. You're not going along with the story. You're writing your own story. You're the author of your own storybook. And people can't stand that because, number one, people don't have a mind of their own. So they, they want to control you and they want you to think like them. 
the people who don't have a mind of their own, they all have one collective consciousness. They all group up. They all have the same thought. Okay, they got that group think. All right, you if you read 1982, you know what I mean. Or 1984, you know what I mean. They have the group think where they all they have that world mind philosophy where they don't have their own mind. They can't think for themselves. So they all just go along and agree with whatever is said and they take those thoughts and whatever is said if the world says that uh people are going broke that's what they go with if the world says there's not enough this that's what they go with and when they don't see you going along with that program when you're too real for that when you don't um when you don't submit to issues and problems and ill health and negativity when you're when you're not weighed down by that negative cloud your frequency is going to be higher and you're going to be radiating love you're going to be radiating peace you're not going to be vibrating on fear and hate and all those low level vibrations so when you get around people they're going to feel that new energy they're going to feel that good energy and they're going to be like kind of standoffish and a little weary because it's something that they don't experience on a regular basis all right it's something that you're tapped into and it's like walking past a high voltage area and they're just walking past the electricity like whoa there's a lot of energy over here but you deal with that all the time. That's just your every day. But then when they get around it and it's you, they don't know how to take it. They don't know how to understand it. They they think you're weird. They think you're different. They don't know how to take you because you're real. All right. You're not fake. You don't act. You don't act a certain way for people to like you. You don't act a way to try to be cool or fit in. You, you are 100% comfortable with being who you are. And when you are 100% 100% comfortable with being who you are. Don't waste your real on fake people. If you see fake people, you see people acting like the head person in the group. That's a group of fake people. All right. You see if everybody, if there's a group of people, like a real group of people, everybody's going to be an individual. But when you see a group of people and they're playing, follow the leader. Everybody's acting like the HNIC or the HBIC or that weird crap. Whenever you see, if there's money involved and it's like a, a like a, a, a group of like a boss or like an employee that's different you know if there's like a if there's some business with it i understand that but for people to just be going along with yo this is the uh, per- coolest person in the group let's all act like him like oh man like that make you sick when you're a real person that'll make you sick to your stomach and when you get around people they're gonna take you as a threat because other people are gonna look at you and they're gonna be like oh He's not acting like so-and-so, or he's not acting to try to be cool, or he's not acting to try to get people to like him, or she's not acting like that, so people will like her. She doesn't act like all those other girls. Like, when you don't do that, now people are going to be like, oh, well, it's maybe if I be myself, that's cool for me, or I could be myself too, or I don't got to play follow the leader. I don't got to do what uh, he does so I could be respected. I don't got to uh, put my head up his behind pause just so I could uh be looked at and be admired by people and and have people talk to me and think I'm somebody I don't gotta do that nah you really don't yeah you could really be yourself you could really be uh comfortable with being who you are you could really love yourself you know you could be comfortable with being real if if you're real by yourself that is way better than having a relationship with a hundred fake people I'll take one real person me over 100 fake people because when that if you when you're with you when you're you you can keep it real with you. People may be telling you all types of stuff, faking the front just to get what they want. Okay, doing all types of weird stuff just so they could um, seem real or 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 do business with you or have some type of relationship with you. And all the while, the person's fake. They're gassing you up. Oh yeah, I see how you yeah, that fool. And then they turn it around talking about you behind your back. People do that all the time. But the thing is, when you, I'm telling you, when you sense these people are fake, all right? Don't try to wait for people to change. Don't try to wait for somebody to improve. Once, you know, as soon as you sense somebody's fake, you just fall back, distance yourself, okay? You don't got to make a big deal about it. You don't got to complain about it. You don't got to be frustrated about it. I used to get upset. People are fake. It's okay. People could be fake because you focus on being real. That's all you have to do. And that's how you don't waste your fake on. That's how you don't waste your real on fake people. Who cares if they're fake? They could be fake all day long. You focus on being real. You focus on being genuine. You focus on being true to you and to those around you. Set an example. All right. If nobody follows it, cool. They follow it. Cool. If you're the only real person in your life. Wonderful. Amazing. 
beautiful, you know? Props to you for being real. Nobody has to notice that you're real. Nobody has to give you an accolade or a prize for being real. Nobody's going to walk up and to be like, yo, you're real. Maybe one person. I've had one person do that to me my whole life. One person walk up to me and be like, yo, you're real. That was it. But it doesn't matter if they do or if they don't. It's a, it's a blessing if somebody else is real enough to see that and congratulate you on walking a, a, a path of trueness and, gen, and and genuineness, all right, having an upright spirit, you know, that's a blessing if people, somebody want to come up to you and congratulate you on that, on that journey, because a lot of people will take the path, and that's why sometimes on these jobs, chosen ones, chosen vessels, I know you know what I mean, uh, chosen vessels, when you're on this job and you don't try to fit in and you don't try to kiss somebody's behind you don't try to uh you don't laugh at them corny jokes that they be telling them jokes corny it'd be different if it was funny but them jokes is corny and they low-key be trying to ish on you in front of everybody and want you to laugh at it but you're too smart for that they think you're dumb but they're the real dumb ones and that's fake how you gonna try to joke how you gonna crack a joke on me in front of everybody in front of the whole job and and wait wait for me and and look and act and think that I'm going to just laugh at myself in front of everybody. I'll stand there, I'll look at you, but I'm not going to smile. I'm not going to say anything about like I used to I'm not going to smile, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm not going to care. I used to feel pressured into smiling at little dumb stuff like that when I was early in my work career, thinking that I needed to um thinking that I needed to do that, thinking that I know, oh man, if I don't smile, they're not going to like me. Or if I don't do this, they weren't, they didn't like me regardless. Like when you're, when you could feel energy, you think if you do something different, people aren't going to, people are going to change. What you're feeling is people already don't like you. (laughs) That's what you're feeling. You're already feeling that people don't like you, but you think, oh, I could do this and maybe they'll like me, or I could do this and they'll change. Or, or you think it's something that you're doing that's making them not like you. No, sweetheart. No, homeboy. It ain't nothing that you could do to make them not like you. What they're doing is they already hate you because they they are upset at you for who you are because you believe in God and you have a strong faith and that uh, emanates off of you. So what they do is they'll hate you for that and then they'll, they won't like you because you're anointing and you're special and they'll make up all these things trying to fool themselves because they're fake. They're trying to trick themselves into thinking that they're not bad people. So what they'll do is they'll make up everything under the sun that you you have done wrong. You're not doing this right. You're not doing that right. But what the, what it really is is they don't like you, bro. They don't like you, sis. They're mad at you because you're a child of God, and they're t- they're trying to attack you. Uh, trying to attack you financially, mentally, spiritually. They're trying to attack you and make and, and, and have an impact on your world because they see how powerful you are and they want to have power over your life because they're evil. They're really evil. All right. There's a lot of some of these fake people are fake and evil. All right. I could deal with somebody that just is fake or whatever and go about their business. But nowadays, people just fake and evil. They're not fake anymore just to the point where, ha, huh, OK, all right, I don't like that. Now they're fake. Like fake for real. They try to take fake and evil. I meant to say they're fake and evil. They want to take your job from you. They want they don't want you to eat. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to be able to buy new things. They don't want you to be able to to be able to take care of yourself. Even if it's like thirteen to fourteen dollars an hour, they don't want you to have that because they don't want you any type of any way that you'll be able to improve or get ahead without them having some type of control over it or them being able to destroy it is gonna make them sick. To know that they don't have power over you. Oh, I don't have power over their life. They're going to get ahead. Because they know whatever we get our hands on, they know that we're going to do something with it. No matter how big, no matter how small. They know that we're going to turn it into something major. They know that we're going to turn it into something amazing. Something incredible. And they can't stand that. They can't take it. It's killing them on the inside. Because they're fake. All right, if, 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 When someone is turning up. And, and being great and being magnificent and amazing, you know what that does to me? Makes me want to go do the same thing for myself. I'm not going to be like, oh, that person's amazing. Like, that is it's a waste of space. But they're just, I honestly think that there's people who God creates to just do good and, you know, the chosen ones and stuff like that. And then everybody else is just, unfortunately, I mean, you got to call, call a spade a spade, y'all. You know, I shoot. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be one of those holier than thou people and be like, you are all this and, and we're only this and you are all that. I don't want to do that, you know, cause I don't feel, I, I don't know, I, I don't know how I'll feel about that, you know, 
uh, that's not my place. But what I do feel is that there are good people and there are bad people and there are people that want to that are, are fake, smiling in your face, want to take your place, and they will act a certain way to try to get into your life, find things out about you, and tear you down from the inside out. Find out what, what your breaking point, <clears throat> find out what you don't like, find out what makes you upset, and do it. There are people who study people all the time to see what you don't like, and then they, they go 100 on it, 110% on it. But the thing is, there's no power outside of ourselves, so that stuff can't bother us. Okay, they could be, they, I'll say it again, they could be fake as hell all they want. No power outside of us can bother us. Only we bother ourselves with them by allowing that to bother us. We don't have to allow that to bother us. It's not going to bother us. We don't have to let it bother us. If you let it bother you, then I've, I've been there. There's some times where I've let things bother me. But now as I've learned and I've uh, educated myself and I've uh, uh, mentally advanced, I know not to do that anymore. I used to let things affect me. I used to react to things. I'm not doing that anymore. It's made me miss out on opportunities. I've lost jobs over focusing on the wrong things, focusing on fake people, allowing fake people to get me, to get my goat, allowing fake people to... um. Uh, uh, provoke me to the point where now I'm the one freaking out. Now I'm the one looking crazy because I let that person get underneath my skin because they saw how good I was. They saw how great I was and they wanted to tear me down because they didn't want to see me advance. It was killing them to see me just quietly work over there in peace, mind my business and do my job. It kills them. It literally kills them. That's why they have to try to affect you in a negative way because that what that would it, you, Whatever you are disturbing in them, their demons, their um, uh, whatever you're disturbing in them. Uh, what's the other word? I can't think of it right now. I'll just say demons. The demons that you're disturbing in them, they are possessed. They they literally can't stand to see you over there in the corner being peaceful, just minding your own business, not gossiping, not causing trouble, not doing any of the negative stuff they're into. They're into bringing people's spirit down. They're into crushing people. They're into destroying people because they're destroyed. If you're not destroyed like them, they're going to attack you. They're going to make sure by the time that they get done with you, you got some type of scar left on you because life has left a scar on them. And instead of going to God about it and, and fixing it, they want to take it out on other people. These are damaged individuals. Fake people are dangerous, okay? Fake people are dangerous. You never know what a fake person might do. The hate and jealousy might be so thick that they might try to take somebody's life. You have to stay prayed up and you have to ask God to remove all the fake people out of your life. I got a video about that. Go back and uh, look at my uh, videos. I uh, got a video about asking God to remove all the fake people out of your life. Ask God to remove every single fake spirit out of your life so you will not have to be in the presence of those people. But we already have the power to trample on scorpions and snakes. So like I said, there's no power outside of ourselves. And what you have to do is you have to keep saying that until it sinks in because that's what that's your power. There's no power outside of yourself. There's no power outside of your thought. These fake people could say whatever they want. These fake people could do whatever they want. We are strong. Keep saying that to yourself. I am strong. Strong. The joy of the Lord is my strength. No word can stop you. Okay. No attempt can stop you. No witchcraft can stop you. No black magic can stop you. All right. No evil plots, plans. All right can stop you. They are all scattered in the name of Jesus. They are all scattered in the name of God. These people cannot stop us. All right. It is our destiny to be real. It is our destiny to walk a path of righteousness and be true. All right. And keep it real with ourselves. Keep it real with God. Keep it real with ourselves and keep it real with our fellow brothers and sisters. That's our job. Okay. And that's what we are going to do. Nobody, no, no fake people are going to infect us with their, with their evil spirit. We will not be infected with the evil spirit of being fake. Fake, all right, we're not even going to hate fake people. We're going to spread love to them and direct our focus back onto our real, beautiful, true self because the devil will try to steal your joy. That's what it is. They come around you, they try to take your attention and your focus off of you and get you to focus and, and bring all your attention on their fakeness. They try to take your good from you. 
they they will try to take your good from you. They see you enjoying your good, enjoying your connection to God, enjoying your good day, enjoying your righteous spirit. And then they come over there with the infectious spirit, trying to infect you with all that hate, all that negativity. We're not focusing on them. We're ignoring them because there's no power outside of us. Let So they could be fake all they want. We're going to be real all we want and we're going to keep manifesting the real reality that we want. Only real people, only beautiful people, only righteous people, only the right people for the right reasons. All right. At the right time, you know, God will do it. So keep focusing on the fact that you're a real person. It doesn't matter what other people, if other people try to plot, scheme, be fake about. If they're not real, they're missing out. They missed out on a great opportunity to meet a real good person and to uh, to to uh, advance, to learn some things, all right, to get closer to God. They missed out, okay? We bring people closer to God, man. When people try to play us and people try to act like, you know, like they, uh, people try to act weird around us or try to act jealous or how whatever, you know? When people get in their feelings, basically, there we go. When people get in their feelings, when we come around, and we're all we're doing is just being ourselves, spreading love, just being positive, not causing no mayhem, not gossiping, being real. OK, when we get around people and we're being real and they feel some type of way about it, it's just it is what it is. They're going to have to feel some type of way about it. They have to deal with that. You can't walk on eggshells about that. It's nothing you could do about that. It's nothing you can't act different and make them feel different about it. They're going to feel that type of way about you. You have to accept it. You have to walk your path. They're going to try to provoke you. You have to ignore them. You have to keep it moving. You have to know that they're doing that because you are you are better than them. They see you as all high and mighty. It's because you have the presence of the all high and mighty God in you. Okay? So don't get upset. These people see God in you and they are mad because they don't see it in themselves. So they are going to try to provoke you, upset you, get you uh, thrown out, get you fired. But the thing is, we're not letting that happen anymore. We're not allowing them to try to steal our good, our happiness, our joy anymore. We're not going to allow our, them to try to take it from us because we're not going to be frustrated or upset by it. We're not going to give them any reactions. We're not going to allow what they say or what they do to have any effect on us whatsoever. They are weak and we are strong. We're going to keep speaking it. We're going to keep affirming it. We're going to keep thinking it. We're going to keep seeing it. We're going to keep seeing our life going in a better direction. We're going to keep seeing things going up for us. We're going to keep seeing our money going up. We're going to keep speaking money into our reality. We're going to keep speaking happiness into our reality. We're going to keep speaking faith into our reality, joy into our reality, good things into our reality. Our life is only going up. Our situation is turning out for the better. We're taking off. We're, 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 uh, we're getting closer to God. We're getting richer. We're getting happier. We're getting healthier. Okay. And nothing's, nothing's going to stop that. We're real. We are the real deal holy field. Okay, we came to uh we came to uh set a, a trail of fire and leave a what is uh, set a uh, what what they say came to blaze a trail and set it a fire or something like that. But we came we came to we came to turn up. We came to do good. We came to um make leave our mark. That's what we came to do. And they don't want us to leave our mark, but hey, it's already been written in stone by the most high creator. So all they could do is talk slick like gel and activator because that's all they have is this. All they're going to be able to do is blah, 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 blah. And once you realize that this has no power over you, once you realize that this has no power over your life, once you realize that all they can do is just gossip, talk, spread lies, and 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 try and curse you, you, you man, you're going to be breezing by these people. All the stuff that they used to do to try to get on you and get over on you and get you upset, they're going to be freaking out. They're going to be trying to figure out new things to try and get you more upset. So now beware. This is when they're going to kick it up a notch. This is when they're going to try to go harder because they, they yo, trust and believe. When You know how they see that when you're happy and they have to bring you down? They also see when you overcome what they're putting you through and it has no effect on you anymore. So they have to try to bring you down anymore. I mean, even more, they have to bring out the big guns, okay? Uh, past traumas things you got over, you know, things that you don't do anymore, failures, quote unquote, which are really just things you learn from that were experiences that didn't work out, but they don't have the eyesight or the enlightened mind to envision it that way. 
not our fault either. So what we're going to do is just keep staying positive. And, yo, always positivity over all that. Even if you're negative, don't let their negativity affect you. You don't even got to be positive. I know I say keep staying positive. You want to be negative, be negative. But don't spread it. And don't let other people's negativity affect you and work through what you're going through. Don't fake it with yourself. If you're not feeling positive, you're not feeling positive. But just because you don't feel positive, chosen vessel, you don't have to take that out on other people like the narcs do. I'm feeling bad. Everybody's going to feel it. No, 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 no. That's not what we do. We internalize our issues. We use them to grow. We use them to make us better. We use them to improve. We use them to find out what we're really made of. That's what God gives us all these things for. All these insecurities you have to work towards. I mean, work out. All these things you have to improve on. All these things you have to learn and educate yourself on. And all the ups and downs and going through the humiliation and people laughing at you because you're starting something new and different and you're not doing it right the way people think it should be done. So they're laughing at you because you're not good as everybody else because they're fake and they don't, uh, uh, they, they're not doing anything themselves or they just are too big headed and too egotistical to understand that everybody got to go through something. Everybody got to start somewhere. Nobody's going to be perfect and the best at whatever they do immediately as soon as they start it. But what they'll try to do is when they see that you're great and they see, they see you at at the end of the finish line before you do they see that you're going to be the greatest at it even though you're just starting out and you may not be that good they're going to laugh at you and put you down and try to stop you because they see your potential they see that you're that you're going to be really good at what you're doing so they'll try to stop you ahead of time and make you quit before you even get to that point of your true greatness okay that's because they have true fakeness okay and they're full of hatred and they don't want to see you make it. They don't want to see you tap into your good because they're not tapped into theirs. Who's this person thinking they could come around, be better than who they are? Sorry, y'all. Be better than who they are and try to in, and outdo us when all you're doing is making yourself better. When all you're doing is improving on you. And they really don't want you to get ahead because that I'm telling you, it's going to it's going to destroy some people when you get successful and you get to where you want to get. And these people know they can't control you anymore. And they know that you have overcame the stuff that they put you through. They're going to be tight. These people going to be tight. Uh, here goes so and so coming around with all this fancy new crap. And we don't have nothing. We tried to keep him down. We tried to hold him back. We tried to keep him from his destiny. But that God he keep talking about, all that prayer and faith and all that jazz, all that stuff he keep talking about, looked like it finally worked out for him. Man, whatever. I don't care. You know, they, I'm telling you. And these are people who, you, like, I thought you went to church. I thought you believed in God. These people don't really have no belief in God. They just doing this. They're fake. They really don't believe, okay? This is we getting real here, all right? We get talking about fake people, y'all. People want to talk about God, and people will talk about God just to be talking about him. They won't actually believe in him because when problems happen, when problems happen, everybody goes through the, I don't know what I'm going to do or what's going to happen. Or people, people may have doubt sometimes, but I'm talking about these people will just stick with the doubt. You try to tell them something better, they're like, nah, it ain't going to work out. You know, God makes a way. God will help you. You know, God will make a way. It ain't going to work out. Like, and, they, they, and like, yo, these are people that if they see you going through something or if they see, man, you better God this, 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 or whatever. But they just they talk a good talk, but they don't walk it. They don't really believe that. And, you know, it's nothing against them. If people like if people want to be fake, they could be fake. But don't try to don't take out on me the fact that I'm real and be mad at me because I'm real and I'm not choosing to be fake. All right. That's they, what they have a problem with when you don't go with the get along and you don't want to be fake like everybody else. And you're not walking that walk and you're not walking in the program and you write your own story. They are going to be jealous because they don't even have the vision to write their own. That's why they're going along with the other with everybody else to begin with. That's why they're mad at you. You have your own vision. You have your own mind. You see what you want. You know what you want. You're going after it. You know how to go after it. You'll pray pray to get answers on how to uh, learn how to go out after it all right you will not give up until you get an answer you are real all right these people are fake they try once it didn't work they put it down and quit they're done they throw in the towel and give up you're too real for that you know that if you keep going you're gonna get what you want you already see what you want you already have it in your mind and all these fake people can't stop you they wish they could but they can't all right their fakeness is too weak <laughs> their fakeness is weak fakeness is weak and realness is strong all right you are strong the bible said let the weak say i am strong 
all right? Being real or strong, even if you have no friends, you're stronger than all those fake people that are excluding you because you're real, all right? Them fake people can't stand you. They can't stand that energy. They don't want to come around it. Just like you don't want to be around their fakeness, you all that fake energy that you feel, your realness overpowers that. It's way stronger. So when you get around them, that's why they got to stand in groups and stare at you funny. Because you're real and your real energy outpowers five to ten fake people. Energy. Easy. They're too fake. And when you get around them, they just stand there and look at you and don't want nothing to do with you because you're killing them on the inside. Your realness is destroying them. Atoms, cells, bones, ligaments, organs. Just like when they spread toxicity, their toxicity becomes internalized. And but that's why they got to spread it in the first place, because they got that toxicity internalized and it's swirling around in them. And then when you come around, all them demons get disturbed, all them insecurities rise to the surface and all that toxicity. They're dealing with it until they start taking it out on you. The person who they believe is your fault is not your fault. What they're supposed to be doing is when you when we come around and all their insecurities rise to the surface, what they're supposed to be doing is like, yo, I got to work on myself. I got to make me better. All right, they're not internalizing them. What they're doing is they're externalizing it and they're trying to take it out on others. And that's fake. And we ain't going to play that. We're not going to be affected by that. We're not going to allow that to bother us. Okay, we're going to deflect that negative energy. All right. Hey, all right, man. Yo, work on yourself, player. I ain't the one. <laughs> all right, Lord, whatever you got to do. But most importantly, keep being real. All right, keep being real. Stay true to you. And if people want to be fake, let them. It's not your fault. You can't change them. You're going to be frustrated and upset trying to change people and trying to change things that you have no power over of. And these people take pride in the fact that they're different than us and that they're fake. So I'm telling you, they're going to stay them their fake selves. Don't you let it worry you. Don't you let it stress you out. You keep being real. All right. It's going to benefit you. You're going to run into real people. All right. See, that's the thing. The trick of the enemy wants us to think that it's all fake. Those real people keep you. And this is why we have to keep our faith in God, because those real people are out there for you. They're just very rare. And you're going to run into them and you're going to meet them and you guys are going to connect. And it's going to be a real, true connection. And that person is going to help you because all those fake people that hated on you and your goals, all those fake people that hated on you and your dreams, all those fake people that that said they uh, to your face, good luck. But behind your back, they said, God, don't let that Negro make it. All those people that did that, man, it's going to be all wa- it's all washed away right now in Jesus' name. But you really going, I mean, it's, it's all you already have forgotten it in Jesus' name. And the reason why you have forgotten it and you got to forget those fake people, okay? This is the end of the video. What we're going to do now is we're going to forget all of those fake people so that the real there's going to be space in our mind for real people. So this is going to be a prayer right here. We're going to ask God again to remove these fake people out of our life. God, please continue to remove these fake, evil, wicked spirits out of our life. People who say good but mean us harm. People who say good things but uh, are lying in deceit behind our back, speaking with a forked tongue. People who don't want us to make it. And whenever they see us uh, taking the opportunity, they hate it. Whenever they see us moving forward, it makes them sick. So they have to try to hit us with a dirty trick. These people, if they could, they would try to uh, uh, stop us any day, any hour of the week. These are people that uh, we come around them and they say he's still alive people are praying on our downfall they're wishing death on us father please protect us uh, uh, from these fake people please protect us from these fake spirits these fake people trying to tear us down these fake people who don't want to see us succeed these fake people who don't want us to reach our destiny these fake people who don't want us to reach our goals these fake people who don't want us to fulfill our prophecy to fulfill the uh the uh prophecy that god put on our life amen god please continue to uh let us walk in the right direction please continue to guide our mind our faith in our footsteps and our actions okay and please help us to continue to ignore and overpower these fake spirits they have no power over us god please continue to see ourselves as almighty powerful because we believe in almighty powerful god we are almighty powerful god to these fake spirits to these fake uh entities trying to frustrate us trying to provoke us on on high spiritual levels uh spirits uh uh hopping into other people trying to use them to try to get to us because we are god's chosen okay we battle uh, uh, uh not against flesh and blood but against uh spirituality in high wicked places so god please continue 
continue to protect us. Please continue to watch over us. Please continue to protect our real, protect our mind, protect our energy, and help us stay connected to you. Help us stay uh, in good faith. Help us keep good works. Help us keep good action. Help us keep a positive mindset and help us keep a good spirit so that we can have a, a healthy, healthy body and healthy energy. Because these people are trying to spread toxicity and negative energy is cancer. And we're too good and we believe in God, so we don't have none of that. And we're not going to deal with any of that. So, God, we want to thank you for your peace. We want to thank you for your health. We want to thank you for your protection. We want to thank you for watching over us and keeping us real, keeping our energy protected and safe and protecting our minds, our hearts and our spirits from all these evil, ne uh, negative, wicked energies out here. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, thank you for everybody for watching this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit that share button. And I'll see everybody in the next video. This has been another Drew Tube special where we came to give you more and never lesser. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace out, y'all.